Hello everyone, welcome back to the pre-alpha demo for Sea of Stars, a game that I put on, or I helped support on Kickstarter. I put it on, I helped support. With my monies! Um, we're in an, an evil cave of evil. Apparently the Fleshmancer is in here. Which, uh, that's a spooky sounding name. Not gonna lie. Oh. That was an evil spider. I saw that. And ugly. It's a bile pile. Together. That was no regular monster. Fleshmancer minion. Alright. Light's a bit dim on here, for my liking. Oh, that is a... These are spooky looking... It's a sleuth. I'm a... Oh. That was a far easier to kill sleuth than I expected. All things considered. Maybe it's because I'm using the power of the boost? Keep, keep exploring. I don't know if that's quite the way yet. Try the moon orang again. Oh, very cool. I'm taking a few more skill points, I think. He's got low skill points. She's got the higher magic. He's got the higher physicals.
It's a cyclop. Yeah, definitely the power of absorbing the light helps break through their defense bonus. Unless it's his sword thing. The door. This room's definitely made by one of us. Can't be a dweller here. There would be records. A dweller. Interesting. And then remotely. Okay. Well. It looks like one over there. Where I reach it? There we go. It's one rune. So what do you think? Are we going to unleash a terrible, unnatural evil upon the world? I'm saying there's probably a, a strong chance. Well, it's good shadow play. We got fleshmancers, we got dwellers. Doesn't look like I can I can backtrack though, which I'm a little upset about. Maybe I can. Oh, I can backtrack. They vanished, but they came back. Because recall last time we took an alternate path. Scorpions! Oh, and they're hiding in the dark like that. That is that is great use of the light. I'm liking it. Get ourselves that experience points. And a sun shard. Alright, cool. Worth the backtracking for the sun shard. Place is certainly full of the spook. Let's, you know, let's use a rest. Can we control time in here? Apparently I can. Doesn't do much, though, in this spooky cave of the spookery.
flesh shield. Oh, that's horrible. You know, it's a good thing I've played Legend of Zelda games and I'm excellent at the ping pong of energy balls. Oh, yeah. We are heading into... That is that is not friendly looking territory. That is horrible, spooky looking territory. That is gruesome and spooky. Yeah, you know, um, atmosphere-wise, very. I like it. I'm definitely a fan of the atmosphere. A little dark for how I like things. Oh, I was way out of, way poorly timed there. More skill points, good. Physical defense. Let's grab. Let's grab a little more physical attack. Enchanted chain link. Oh, here we are. Good double boost charges. Plus one AP. Yeah, but I do like 50 hit points. One AP, though. I'm gonna, we're going to give that a shot. Because the soon rang the fuse projectile oh, targets. I have to try it. Oh, there's two bar pulses. Perfect. I was just terrible on the timing. Multi shot. Oh, 
there we go. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, this place is getting a little bit evil. A little bit creepy. So I don't have any multi-physical hits yet, so I'm not sure... How I'm supposed to kill him. Oh, and there's a bile? It's terrible. Um... I like, I like the combined moves. So evil. So fleshy. There's something more in here? Then I'm missing something? Oh, there we go. So, what do you? What do people here think of the uh, the music, the ominous tones, the visual doom and gloom? Another moon shard. I quite like it. Hello. Zeo. Yeah. Little furry butts. You know, now that I look at the screen, yes, I am seeing a bunch of little furry butts. There are gorillas. Hey, like this other guy. Tiny little sons.
Yeah, don't be rude, son boy. What happened to your mother? She's down below. But we love her so much. She says we can't go and see her because it's too dangerous. So we just stare at her from up here. She's so pretty. Do clouds still exist? The Gorilla Matriarch is still alive. Alright, they're pretty cute. I like them. Really? Hop on, Mom? That'd be so cool. <laughs> Alright. All the vice versa thought to be extinct. Oh, they hop when you run near them. And then we're back into spooky land. Oh, so spooky. And evil. All right, so there's clearly there's gonna be some sort of horrible, you saw those kids mentioned. There's a horrible monster in here. The track is real alive. That's Oh, that is not the children of the solstice. Subjected to the flesh mancer's final front to this world. A seed of evil in the depths of this mountain bound me here so that my cubs would remain in close proximity. Chops is yet another one of my babies walks before me on the way to be devoured by the growing dweller of torment. As their innocent minds are so easily controlled, my pleas always remain unheard. Oh, this guy is evil! How do we not know about this? The curse in this place. Within the mountain belong to it forever. So if we leave, you will not remember me or anything you've learned here. Ha! You can't curse me. I've got a brain that doesn't exist in your game. Only crippling sense of dread will remain from which Torment Peak got its name. Enough to ensure you would never return. Oh, that's. that is a crafty curse! Face it to alone, or ban you to this fate. When you're about by do not sacrifice your lives in vain. I mean, you're right. But toward the bigger picture, you must avoid giving into impulsivity. Damn you, Fleshmancer! Yeah, there's gotta be something. You know, I've just moments after another one of my cubs ventured deeper into the mountain, and yet reached the dweller. All right, so we can save one of our kids. Interesting. Pretty good. Pretty good stats. I think we can go investigate. Oh, it's just so evil, though. There's the cub. Hey, little guy. Alright, well, we all know what's going to happen. There's going to be a horrible monster. And I don't want to face that until next time. So thank you for watching. I uh, kind of wish there had been a save point, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll come back soon. And find out what is. What else will the game... Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back. Bog Mod here, playing more. Sea of Stars. 
There is a flesh mancer, and I gotta say, this guy has some evil vibes. The dungeon has been very atmospheric. Enjoying the gameplay. Come, we will take you to see your mother. She is this way. I think you lie. Why do you lie? We don't lie. So here's the deal, for those of you who may have missed it. This is a Kickstarter game. It's a pre, pre offer demo that, that's that been shared for those people like me who Kickstarted oh so kindly. And, um... So there's a Dweller, which is some sort of horrible abomination. There's the Fleshmancer, which is this horrible guy who apparently twists life. He's cursed this spirit mama gorilla. And every ten years, one of her babies gets drawn into the deep darkness of this place to be devoured. By uh, what we're about to see, I think. Because the pit will protect the cub. Hey, buddy. Oh, that is a horrible looking. But look at look at that. What? I mean, look at, first of all, oh, it has all those stats. And... Look at it, it's made of flesh and corpses. I don't like it. Possible bugs. I don't find any bugs. What's the continue do then? Oh, back in here. Alright, cool. Alright, well, that's. I guess that's gonna be a weird little. Alright, um, I'll probably just merge it to the last one. Uh, thoughts. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Um, no, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite liking the atmosphere, the music, uh, the visuals are good. Um, my only critique is, again, like I'm sure when the final game comes out, you know, this is, isn't set to come out for another two years, but just a little more of a a way to know when you're supposed to hit that hit that button to trigger those uh, harder hits or those blocks or those special effects. A well, way to practice that sort of thing would be appreciated. I like. I know they have to redact some things to kind of avoid the spoilers. Um, I like I like where the things are going. I like, yeah, no, no, I like, I like the, um, I'm sure they're going to change up the level, the leveling up system and the gear, probably, maybe, I don't know. But it's good, no, I like it. And I hope, I hope this has tantalized you for something we'll be playing again in a couple of years. And otherwise, share your thoughts and comments below, and I'll talk to you all in a bit. Bye!